Riley, thanks for watching. Well, the ratings are in, and once again, the O'Reilly factor is number one. That's the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. Now, as many of you know, Talking Points believes there are reasons why viewers are flocking to the factor. And the reason, quite simply, is me. Why? I'm tough. Larry King, he's not tough. Tough on the eyes, maybe. Chris Matthews is tough to listen to. And don't even get me started on Dan Rather, Peter Jennings, Tom Brokaw. They are just a bunch of nutless bastards. And that's the memo. Now, my first guest is an author, but not a best-selling one like me. Please welcome defense attorney Elizabeth Crane. Hello, Bill. Hello, counselor. Why don't you tell me about your little book, Crazy Is As Crazy Does. The book deals with some recent high-profile crimes for which I provide a solid legal defense. All right. Uh, you know, well, this show is about providing both sides of the story, so why don't you go ahead and give it your best shot. What say you, Miss Crane? The book deals with two cases in particular which have received much attention with the media. Oh, boy. Talk about media attention. I got all the media attention I can handle. Well, with two number one selling books and the number one rated cable show in America, I don't need any more attention. You know what I'm saying, Miss Crane? But I, I don't get your point. What's your point? Okay. The first case involves a man, Thomas Junta, who is on trial in Massachusetts for killing another man at a hockey game. Okay, yeah, I know this case. Terrible case. If yes. it were up to me, I'd give the victim's families hockey sticks, tell them to beat Mr. Junta to death. Am I wrong? Yes. This is a clear case of rink rage. Okay, let me stop you. Rink rage, Miss Crane, you, I'm sorry, what kind of crazy feminist theory is this, all right? You know what you're talking about, all right? You don't play hockey. All right, I play hockey, okay? You don't, you don't want to sound like an idiot on national television, do you? No. All right, well, it's too late, because you already do. Let's move on to the next case. Uh, tell me about this Andrea Yates woman. Yes, yes. She is a Texas mother who drowned all of her children in the bathtub. Now, obviously, she is mentally unbalanced. Okay, let me stop you, okay? You, you don't... This sounds like an idiotic theory you got going. You sound like an idiot. I mean, with all due respect, right? You got anything to back this up at all, Miss Crane? Yes, anything, anything yes, at all? Yes, yes. In the state of Texas. Okay, you know, let me stop you. Don't tell me about the state of Texas. I've lived in Texas my whole life as well as other places, mm -hmm. all right? There is no connection between living in Texas and being crazy, all right? You got, you got any no, logic no, here at yeah, all? Yeah, doctors have confirmed that the woman was suffering from a severe postpartum depression. Okay, let me stop you. I've had postpartum depression right after I gave birth to my son, all right? I, I never killed my kids. See, that you don't have a theory that is, here. That is impossible. You a man. That's right. I am a man. And I am all man. All right. And your book, with all due respect, sounds awful. All right. I wouldn't buy it. Nobody I know would. All right. But, you know, we're running out of time here, so I'm going to give you the last word. Thank you. My book is based on the premise. And we're out of time. Thank you very much for coming in and taking the fire. As always, we we'll let our audience decide. And thank all of you at home for watching. Good night.